Good afternoon. Uh, before we start uh, our message, uh, when we came out here for this afternoon from, first I want to thank the community and politicians for being a part of us. And before, before we start, we would like to have Pastor Stacey Rainbow open up for prayer first, and then we'll start when we have to thank you, Pastor. Amen. I hope everyone can hear me with all hearts open and ready to receive. I'm speaking as loudly as I can because we want to consecrate this area for what is meant to be done today. Most gracious and eternal Father, Lord, we come before you giving you thanksgiving first and foremost. We thank you because this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you because you stand in the gap for community for us and because you've charged us to be the community, we're taking and receiving the charge. We have a charge and a God to glorify. So we come together today as community, as one. There's no separation, unity. We come together in solidarity. We come together in righteousness and we come together knowing that what is right is right and what is wrong is wrong. So we thank you for blessing this union. We thank you for blessing the unity of all involved. We know that more will be involved and we thank you for the message that's gonna go across that is in love. We know everything is not always the way we want it to be, but we thank you for helping us along the way. We look to the hills from which cometh our help, and our help does come from the Lord. And so we bless you now. We welcome every single person here, those in leadership and just the laity. We give you honor, glory, and praise because if it be not for you, we would not be able to come together like this. And so we praise you and we lift you up. For your word says if you be lifted up, you will draw all men. And so we ask you to do it now. We give you honor, glory, and praise. It is in your mighty and matchless name that we have prayed. Amen? Amen. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Lehman Jake McGee. I'm the 28th Precinct Council President. And the reason that we are gathered here today because our community is better than what we have seen. Yes. Our young people can do better. Uh, we need the police department. We can't have individuals taking the law in their own hand because if that happened, then what would our community be? And those that have been in Harlem for years, like I have been in, because I can remember when Harlem was abandoned building. That's yeah, right. Yeah, now yeah. look at the neighborhood That's now, right. how they have grown. And we love the police department, they love us. And the 2-8, we're trying to work together as a team. Yes. And when someone do wrong, we gotta speak on it. We can't bite our tongue because if the police department do something wrong, we gonna speak on that too. That's right, but right, today please. we're here to stand with the police department and let them know that we will not let no one disrespect them. That's right. Because we all deserve respect. That's right. And with no further ado, I'm gonna have Mother Jack Moore Adams to say a few words. Thank you. First, let me say, I wanna thank our President McGee uh, Jake McGee for convening this uh, press conference. I also want to thank clergy, uh, Pastor Ramos, and our ins Deputy Inspector McIntosh in the Community of Fear Unit. Without the police, as you heard, we can't do nothing for safety. We need our police. It's unacceptable what took place last week. Enough is enough because it's a water bottle today, it's a bucket tomorrow, and then it's bricks, and, and next thing they're gonna take their guns. We are a community that sticks together. We work very hard, and I feel we have one of the best commissioners, Commissioner James O'Neill, that have been doing a lot of community 
service and putting and working to put community and police together. I want to say to Chief Rodney Harrison, he works very hard to make sure that our youth are having programs and that they understand we don't have all bad cops. We have some knuckleheads, but we have some good cops right. that care about this That's community. Right. And right. we want people to know that NYPD do not stand alone. We from the 2A stand with them. Thank you. Talk about it. That's right. Thank you so much. Now we have Reverend Sullivan come to say some words. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What you're looking at today is the community. People from all walks of life make up the community. And we stand here together, unified, by our respect for life and our respect and appreciation for what our local precinct does for this community. Whenever something happens, there are always people who benefit from divisiveness. They want to separate us. They want to pit us against one another. But when you see the everyday people, on a regular basis. We walk together, we play together, we pray together, we work together, and today we stand together. Yes, yes. An attack on one person's life in this community is an attack on every person's Say life in this right. community. Come on, Say it, right. it is our responsibility as residents of this community to stand here and support our precinct the way they support us every day they show up on duty and put their lives on the line for us. They do a thankless job. These officers that, have, that were attacked this week to me showed amazing restraint. That's right. That incident could have gone so left so quickly. And instead of being admired for defusing a situation, they were criticized for not escalating. They are in a no-win situation. Most times they put on this uniform and step in these streets. And so we need to be in support of them. Because without them, we have nothing but chaos. And that would not be acceptable. And so today, your community stands here today calling for peace calling for unity. There is no police and community. There's just one community, and the police are a very important part of that. We stand here for all of our mothers and fathers, our grandparents, and our children who need a safe community. They want the same thing we want. Every day you walk out of your home, that's to get home just as safe as you left. And that's what we're here for today, to ensure the safety of all residents and participants in this community. So we, we thank the 2A precinct for working tirelessly every day to ensure a wonderful, safe Harlem community. And we're grateful for what they do for us and with us each and every day. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Come on. Yes. To everyone standing beside me and behind me, thank you, thank you for being a part of the fabric of this community because this is one quilt that no one incident and no one person will ever tear apart. We are Harlem united, we are Harlem together, and we are Harlem strong. Okay. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on. And before we close, uh, Pastor Raymond, we're going to introduce our guests that showed up. And so um, I just wanted to make sure that everyone here today, as Reverend Sullivan already said, is being acknowledged. Uh, but we want to acknowledge them by name because it is very important that they come, they support, they support the two-way, and they support community at all times. So we want to recognize Councilman Bill Perkins. We want to recognize District Leader Keith Lilly. We want to recognize District Leader Cordell Clear. We, we want to recognize. Oh, we want to recognize Scott Stringer's office, Nina Saxon. We would like to recognize uh, Maria Davis, FCBC, Michael Walton, the pastor there. We want to recognize Willie Walker. I'm just going to yes. step right here because we're community, and community is real. And so we do things real. We stick together. We want to recognize Gail Brewer, Borough President Office, Athena Moore. We want to, I don't want to forget anybody, Stacy from uh, 114 Street with Randolph, Randolph Houses, Pastor Adrian Brosky from the Clergy Council, uh, Imam Kenote, Imam Kenote, we have uh, Calvin Brown in here. Mitchell, Community Board 10, the Osborne Association, Miguel Ramos, I'm Pastor Ramos, welcome. Anybody else? We got Bishop here, y'all from Yardborough. 
Oh, yes, see? Right here, right here. We have to see who is community board 10, a director, chair. district manager, thank you, chair. Uh, I know I'm forgetting some, let me know. We Did have Bishop Freeman, church here with Prophetess here. Um, who else, who else? Shout your name out. Shout your name out. Help us out. You know, this is very important. And so we just wanted to make sure that we gave everyone here recognition because this is very important. They took time out of their day to be here. I am the vice president of the community council uh, at the 28th precinct and I have some flyers here before we leave because we're also going to have another meeting, which is what we like to call this, in support of our precinct, in support of NYPD on August 5th, and we have full support of the brass. So if I could just get the flyers, and I'll give them out. Yes. This is going to specifically be clergy. This is a clarion call for clergy. So I'll show it, you can have one, but we're working on this now. I'm going to make sure I get clergy in this confine. The entire compound, we're going to come together, and just as our president has done, we're going to stick together in unity. Right. And we're going to let everybody know that this is our precinct, That's our right. community, ah, and we've That's come right. together. And they've done great things here for us. And I just want to thank the news media for taking their time to support us, and also okay. our deputy inspector, McIntosh, for yeah. doing a great job yeah. in the 280 yeah. yeah. And community fans, I'm sure they do a great yeah. job. Detective Hooks, Mario Castillo, so thank y'all so much for giving us a few minutes to express ourselves. Yes. Absolutely. All right. The councilman asked me to give a copy so they can put it on, and I will definitely do that right now. That's it. Thank y'all so much for coming out. We have a